A royal expert has warned Prince Harry could be left absolutely devastated if King Charles III decides to act under overpressure to cut an active royals such as the Duke of Sussex and Prince Andrew from the Council of State. Councillors of state are provided with the powers to act as regents in the event the monarch is ill, abroad or otherwise unable to carry out royal duties. Some have argued that Harry and Andrew should be booted off the council and new roles be given to active royals such as Princess Anne and Prince Edwards who have both stepped up in recent months to support the king. The Sun's royal editor Matt Wilkinson told Talk TV, Harry would be absolutely devastated if he was taken off this role you know. I don't think they want to antagonize him anymore. So it is a softer way to get Anne and Edward, who are capable and can do this, and I think people will want them too. It comes after Harry and Andrew's roles in being allowed to stand in for King Charles for official duties were challenged in the House of Lords. Read more. Queen's dresser sparked dissent in the ranks over tiara demands Prince Harry is allowed to stand in for King Charles for official duties. Image, Getty. The Regency Act 1937 sets out which royals can stand in for the monarch. Image, Getty. Last week in the House of Lords, a constitutional debate was held on whether the government should act to reform the law so as to prevent Prince Andrew, the Duke of York or Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex from taking up powers as a regent. Viscount Stansgate told members of the House of Lords, the House knows that the Regency Act is still very relevant, it is the only reason why it was possible to open the current session of this parliament. Indeed, when you look at the final year of Her Late Majesty's reign, there were elements of a regency about it. He asked, does the minister not think it is time to approach the king to discuss the potential amendment of this act, and in particular Clause 6, which at the moment defines regents in relation to their line of succession to the crown? Otherwise, are the government happy to continue with a situation where the councils of state and regency powers may be exercised by the Duke of York or the Duke of Sussex, one of whom has left public life and the other of whom has left the country? Is it not time for the government to approach the king to see whether a sensible amendment can be made to this act? Conservative peer Lord True answered that the government would work to guarantee resilience in our constitutional arrangements and noted that the accession of a new monarch can be a useful opportunity to consider the arrangements. He replied, My lords, I thank the noble Viscount for the question but he will of course understand that I will not discuss any private conversations with His Majesty or with the royal household. His Majesty King George VI set out in his gracious message to Parliament that there can be a need to consider contingencies which may hereafter arise, and to make such provision as will, in any event, secure the exercise of the royal authority. Don't miss, King Charles hopes Charlotte will look after him when he is very old. Insight Beatrice Fury is royal accused of leaving dyslexia premiere early. Analysis Meghan shows intimate gesture to Harry in official portrait. Claim, video. Trending Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Relationship timeline. Image, express. In that spirit, the government will always consider what arrangements are needed to ensure resilience in our constitutional arrangements, and in the past we have seen that the point of accession has proved a useful opportunity to consider the arrangements in place. The Liberal Democrats' Lord Addington Peer then stood to press the government on whether the person appointed to take up Regency powers if needed full would need to already be active in carrying out royal duties. He asked, my lords, can the government indicate that they will at least consider that the person they go to in the first consideration will be somebody who actually undertakes royal duties, or at least some part of them, at present? My lords, again, I will not comment on specific circumstances, replied the Lord Privy Seal. I have set out the position in response to the noble Viscount, and, obviously, any consideration would also have to take place in close consultation with the royal household.